Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to automate text within, say, your title blocks, and making it really easy to automatically update things like a project name or a revision or date throughout an entire set of layouts in a drawing. This is gonna save you a ton of time, and it's quick and easy to learn. Let's jump right into today's video. So as I mentioned, we're going to be automating pieces of text within, say, your title blocks, but this is going to work anywhere within your drawing, and we're going to be doing it in a bit of a lesser known way. A lot of you probably already know how to use fields. I'll link below in the description my video on how to use fields for various things like plot stamps and dates within AutoCAD or perhaps you use sheet sets, which automate a ton of this all in a combined and confined area outside of your drawing. So if you have multiple drawings where you want them all to be showing the same project information and same, say, revision information, and you wanna control that outside of the drawing, you're gonna to wanna to learn sheet sets, which I offer a whole section on in my course up above and down below as an add-on. So you can get the sheet set add-on to my AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals course. And that's gonna teach you how to do this throughout a multiple drawing set. But as the question, which I'll show here, came up on a previous YouTube video was, how do I use a field to copy the same name or project revision from all of my sheets from cover to layouts and sections if they're all in the same drawing? So multiple layout tabs will all have the same information and can be updated in a single place and single time. So you update the text once and it's gonna propagate throughout all of your layouts. So let's look at how we do that. You can see right here where I've got example project name. This is actually a field in a piece of M text or text within AutoCAD. You can tell it's a field because of the gray highlight. Uh, that gray won't plot, but it's letting you know that this is a automated field in the text. So to see where a field is pulling its information from, you can simply double click on it to bring up the field dialog box. You can see that this field in particular is pulling from my document, which would be my DWG drawing, and it's pulling the title field, which we've called example project name. I'm gonna show you how to edit these as well as add your own fields so that you can have custom ones like say a revision, uh, initials, um, date, that kind of thing. And when you update them, it's going to update everywhere that this field has been used. So I'm just gonna cancel this. And I'm gonna show you how we can add a new field to our drawing and how you can edit the existing ones. So you're gonna type in DWG props or drawing properties. Now this is a dialog box that shows all of the drawing properties, including who's opened it, time, that kind of stuff. But the ones we're interested in are the summary tab, which is the default properties within a drawing and where I've put my title in, example project name. You can see that it's down here. If we change this to example project test, and when we hit OK, I'll show you that this will regen. We're also going to create a custom field, something along the lines of, say, a revision. So I've just deleted that one I've already made, and I'll show you how to do it. You're going to want to click the Add button, and the name is what's going to show up uh, when you're selecting which one to use. So you want to call this something along the lines of Rev or Revision, and you can give it a default value. I'm just going to put a dash in there as my default. So you can see that there. I can also add, say, initial and a dash for my uh, default value. Hitting OK, we've now got two new custom properties within our example drawing properties. And this is going to affect the entire drawing package here if it's in the same single file. So as I mentioned, if you want this to work over multiple drawings, you're probably going to want to use something like a sheet set, which is similar. It's controlling properties that are propagated out to multiple drawings that are linked to your sheet set. You can learn more about that on my course with the sheet set add-on. Again, I'll put that link up above and down below. So now that we're back into our drawing here, we've updated those properties. You're going to want to double click on a piece of text and you're going to right select it and you can delete it and right click or just right click with it 
selected and choose insert field. And this is going to bring up that field dialog box again. You're going to want to make sure you're on the document category. You can see all of the different options here, including sheet sets if you were using them. We're going to use the document setting. So you can see we've got rev here and it's currently a dash. We're going to hit OK. You can also force a format on your text. So if you want everything uppercase all the time, regardless of how it's typed in your properties, choosing the uppercase or title case, first capital, these are your different format options. I'm just gonna leave it as typed so you can put no format forcing on it. And I'm gonna hit OK. You can see that it's now produced that dash there. And I'm also going to change my initials. So instead of me, I'm going to right select it, right click and insert field. And in this one, we're going to change it to the initial. Hitting OK is going to bring in whatever value it has and hit OK. We'll confirm these within my drawing. So now you can see my drawn and revision are automated because of that drawing property field. Now, to update your fields, you need to save or regen your drawing. You can see this one here hasn't changed to test yet, but if I type in regen, R-E-G-E-N, and hit enter, you're gonna see that that has now updated. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're going to make a bunch of copies of this drawing uh, layout. So you can see we've got portrait two. We're gonna make a copy, create a copy and move it to the end. We're just going to simulate like you have a drawing set and I'm going to show you how this automatically can update throughout all of your drawings. So you can see now we have three different drawings and these are all different. You could have different views, you could have different names on all these other pieces of text, but these fields are going to be the same throughout all of them. So this is a great one to set for things like your plot date, your revision, the uh, project title things that aren't going to change between different drawings and want you want them to stay the same yet be easy to update in a single change so again we're going to type in DWG props to bring up the drawing properties dialog box we're going to change our revision to say B so we're on our B revision and my initials we're going to put those in as BL uh, let's make this revision C Next, we're gonna to go to summary. We're just gonna call this test project. So I've updated my fields for title, revision, and initial, and hitting okay is going to send that out into the drawing. Now you can see nothing updated initially, but if you regen or save your drawing, so we're gonna type in regen, this is going to update. So now my project title has changed on all of my sheets. My revision is now up to C and my initials are on every drawing. And you can see we can flip through all of the different viewports and each one has now been updated to match with the common field throughout them all. So I hope that helped. I hope that answers that question that I posted earlier and saw on the previous video. If you guys have any questions or a request for a new video, be sure to leave those in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos and don't forget to check out my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflow course linked up above and down below as well. Sign up for the CAD Intentions newsletter. There's over 5,000 of you on it right now and it's where I send out weekly newsletter posts teaching tips, tricks, and tutorials, as well as answering advice and kind of general career questions from new designers, engineers, and professionals like yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers.